In this video, we will be studying about the movement in snail, cockroaches, snakes and birds. Now snail. Let us first understand the skeleton which is outside the body. See, we humans have the skeleton inside the body. There are some insects and crabs which have the skeleton outside the body but is not but is not made up of bone and such a skeleton is known as as an exoskeleton right like your crabs cockroaches snail all have these crabs insects all have this exoskeleton now snail has a thick structure snail has a thick structure called a foot right it is made up of strong muscles it is made up of strong muscles now with this strong muscles it produces a series of wave like movement that pushes the snake body forward now wave like movement push the snail's body forward right movement in cockroaches see your cockroaches can walk they can climb and they can also fly right now if i talk about the cockroach then they have three pair of legs and after that the leg muscles move the legs for walking and climbing your legs muscles help cockroach to walk and climb right after that there are two pairs of wing attached to the front of the cockroach now the two pairs of wings are attached in front of cockroach now these front uh, pair of wings help the wings to fly so your cockroach can even walk climb and fly movement in snakes see your snakes are the vertebrates right they have a very long flexible backbone the backbone of the snakes are very flexible see the snakes can curve its body into any loop they can curve the body into any loop now each loop pushes against the ground to give a forward push to the body so when moving forward its body moves from side to side in a wave like motion they move in a 
wave like motion i hope you all have seen snakes moving either in some video or in the reality so they have a very flexible backbone which helps them to move along the floor now the movement in birds see birds have wings which are modified four limbs right they use their legs use their legs or hind limbs to walk run and hop right some birds also swim also swim now the bones of the birds are hollow and very light bones of the birds are hollow and very light right so it makes them easy to uh, fly in the air strong muscles in their front helps birds to flap their wings and fly so mostly the major property of the birds are they can fly and also they can move they can walk they can run and they can hop so these are the movements in some of the insects and birds i hope you have understood do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us